True with Guns America. Today I'm with Tom Hines from Odin Works and we have the inside scoop on the brand new Hornady cartridge that just came out. So I've been on the phone with Hornady, Tom's been working with Hornady, and we're going to tell you really pretty much everything you need to know about this new cartridge. Before we get into that though, if you guys wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, we really appreciate you watching. So to get into this, Hornady has just announced a new cartridge. It's not new. There's some of us that have been shooting this cartridge for a while. Or close to it, yeah. <laughs> but it's new for Hornady and new for Sammy spec, and it's called the 22 Arc. Arc. And what's cool about it is um, we're going to be able to get factory ammo, uh, awesome factory bullets in that ammo. Yep. And um, factory brass, finally, yep. instead of necking stuff down. Yep. Yeah, so Wildcatters have been doing this for a while. Obviously, you guys know that 6.5 Grendel, you've been able to put it into a small frame AR, and it's been a pretty big performer. It's been a big seller. I've killed deer with it. I know you've killed mm -hmm. a lot of stuff with it. And then, um, how long has it been? Two or three years ago, Hornady came years. out with yeah, the 6 the arc. arc. And a lot of people don't know this, but the real push for the 6 Arc, it's basically a neck down 6.5 Grendel, was for Special Forces. They wanted something that had more range, wanted it to fit in a small platform. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually shortened the case. So this is actually a... Um, a six arc sitting right here. This is the six five Grendel, and this is the twenty two Grendel or the new twenty two arc. I got to quit calling it Grendel, <laughs> right? So basically, it is. This is not the arc case, though. This is not what the six is based on. And a lot of people were disappointed in the six arc. And I'm not bagging on Hornady here at all. They had their reasons, but it did not hold as much powder as the six five Grendel case. Yeah, the, the six millimeter bullets were longer, yep. so they had to set that neck back a little bit to, to keep within that, that 2.26 that we need to keep our overall length into. Right, because of the longer bullets. So uh, the actual case length on a 6.5 Grendel is 1.525, 1.525, and that is what the case length is on this new 22 Arc. So we have the full case capacity, we get more powder, more performance. Hornady wanted the performance here, this wasn't for a DOD contract, mm -hmm. and so we're going for as much powder as we can fit in this little case. So. Here's what you need to know, and, and Tom can go into this further because they sell a lot of this stuff, but they make custom barrels here at Odinworks, and really all you need to be able to make your AR shoot this new 22 arc round is a barrel and a bolt head and a magazine. Is that right? Yep, the proper mag, uh, because the case is a little bit bigger in diameter than a standard 5.56. Um, and then, you know, so then you have to have the different bolt face to it and, and whatnot, so. But you sell all those things. We do, we do okay. every day. Uh, six Arc has became a huge round for us. We were on board early on, you know, we introduced the same day Hornady did last time. And it, it absolutely is a great, fun round. Um, you know, I've shot animals with it. I've shot a lot of steel with it. And it's one of those few rounds that you can just grab a gun and you can ding 800 yards steel with right, it. Right, right. Very low recoil, really long barrel life, really mm -hmm. good things about it. So guys, this new 22 arc that Hornady has just announced is going to blow the six arc away ballistically. That's my opinion. It, for, and, and Hornady did a good job because they're designing it to be a sporting round, right? Yeah. We're not really, you know, and, and our farm around target we're going to shoot a lot of coyotes yep. with it there's actually so believe it or not there's actually guys using this 22 arc round right now to shoot prs though like they're sticking this in bolt guns they're pushing the pressures up there and they're being competitive with 22 caliber this i mean they call it something else but it's the yeah, 22 you know arc. it's you've had 22 grendels you know as a code name and then 22 uh dnr or something a, a, they're, a super nice guy on the internet you yep. know had it and uh, uh, this is going to be great, you know. It's, it's, it's we wanted to do this, and we started actually talking to Horny about it months ago, and then they let us in that, yeah, we're working on it. Right. So, so these guys are kind of in the forefront of this. They're working on getting barrels ready to go, so that you guys can swap out a barrel or a bolt head and be able to start shooting this round. Hornady, this is technically a 2024 product for Hornady. Mm -hmm. So they're telling me that the end of this quarter, so like. December, they're going to actually have factory loaded ammo for this. They're going to have dyes. You guys are going to maybe even be selling those. Uh, yeah, they're uh, 
trying to work out a deal with the manufacturers of being able to supply us with dyes and us with brass so that we can help feed the customers. There you go. Which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, so let's talk about performance for just a minute here. Let's talk about velocity of the factory ammo that Hornady tells us is mm -hmm. coming. So they're initially gonna have three different types of ammo. They've always had their, they're gonna have a varmint bullet, which is new. They're going to have their black, which is sort of an AR round, and that's going to be in the 75 ELDM which match is an bullet. Awesome, high BC bullet. Yeah, phenomenal. And then they're going to have like a really long range bullet in their uh, ELDM match ammo, mm -hmm. which is the 88 grain ELDM. Yeah. Yep. So let's talk about those three for just a minute. So let's talk velocities here. This new 62 grain varmint bullet is a new design for Hornady. They're telling us that it has. Well, it's not just telling us. They're, the, they don't have the official BC yet, but they've given me one that they've tested already, and they're telling me that the new 62 grain ELD VT has a G1 of 0.382 and a G7 of 0.191. So guys, that's higher than the like 75 grain hollow point boat tail, and it's in a 62 grain bullet. So they're claiming out of this new 22 arc round that you're gonna get 3,300 feet per second out of a 24 inch barrel. And you have to remember, they're loading ammo for gas gas guns. Yes. So if you that's put a 52,000. Yeah. Yeah. If you put this into a bolt gun and jump it up to 62, 65. Yep. And, yeah. That's and a it, couple hundred feet. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. And Hornady is telling me that they will have load data for bolt guns, which is the higher pressures, the 62,000 mm -hmm. versus the 52,000. Okay. So that's the 62 grain bullet. There, there's going to be the 75 grain and they're telling us that's going to go 3,075 feet per second. So the last different factory ammo that is the heavy bullet that's going to be offered at least immediately from Hornady is the 88 ELDM. And that's going to be their match ammo. Super high BC. The velocity is 2,820 feet per second which is pretty phenomenal and i don't know if you've shot any of the 88s i've shot a lot of 88s in the 22 creedmoor now and they're a, just this magic bullet that if you can push them they just really really perform so you you look at 22 arc versus 6 arc and two things you know on external ballistics it's velocity and bc yep so if we want to compare this onto the six millimeter side the 88 actually has a higher BC than the 108, and now we're picking up some velocity on or that. faster. So it's just, yeah. it's faster, so, less wind. So look, this isn't necessarily going to be better for deer or something like that, right? Because it's a lighter bullet, but for target shooting, mm -hmm. long range target shooting, this is actually going to outperform the best 108 load in a six arc. I believe so. Yeah. And in your barrel life should be really good. Because Similar. Because you're not burning a ton of powder no. with it. No, no. It's what, short fat 37 grains or something, you know, and uh, the Hornady techs were saying uh, CFE 223, Leverlution. Uh, we got some Reloader 15.5 that I think is going to be right in that family yeah, I, of... Yeah, I've loaded a lot of Reloader 15, but I think I'm actually using less powder than that. I don't think it's quite even that much powder. Uh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I think it's only yeah. like 27 or 28 grains. Yeah. So it's not a barrel burner. You're going to get good barrel life. So let's talk about this compared to like, say, the Valkyrie. Hornady actually loaded ammo for that. Their Hornady's claiming that the 88 grain ELDM is going to outperform the Valkyrie with the same bullet by 150 feet per second. So I was like, whoa, that's crazy. We looked it up before we talked about this. And the Valkyrie was doing like 2675 with a 24 mm -hmm. inch barrel. And this 88 is going to be doing 20. 2820. So, I mean, this is smoking the Valkyrie with the heavy bullet. And then you're going you're gonna to have this other factor where Hornady's figured out case design yeah. and accuracy behind it. Yep. And everything they've been putting out since yep. they've, you know, hit the creed more, everything they've done since then has just been this awesome, accurate round. Yep. So, um, even cheap barrels have shot good with their designs. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And in fact, guys, I mean, look, depending on what you do, if you like punching paper or steel, you're into tactical stuff, this cartridge is just going to crush. No recoil, great wind bucking, high velocity. If you're into varmint shooting, this new 62 grain bullet is literally going to outperform a 22 to 50 at further distances. Mm -hmm. I mean, in because fact, of the high BCs. Because of the high BC and then the velocity. So the high BC takes over velocity. So Hornady actually gave me this chart here and it compares a 22 to 50 to a 22 arc and a 224 Valkyrie. And if you look at velocity, um, a 55 grain VMAX going 3680 out of a 22 to 50, the 22 arc with the 62 grain bullet overtakes it at like 250 
50 yards and then outperforms it all the way out forever. And well, beats it by wind from, from wind the get-go. From get-go, beats it by wind, but actually overtakes a bullet going 3680 at 250 yards. It is then going faster than well, that bullet. And that's their 55 grainers on the chart. So we can actually take this round and throw 55 grainers if we want to coyote hunt up close. It might explode. You're going to spin it at a seven, <laughs> yeah, one so and seven, and that velocity, I mean, it's going to come out and yeah. then blow up. So, guys, pretty exciting stuff, though. I mean, look, wind, energy, velocity, it beats all these other cartridges. I mean, there, there's nothing for when you start counting in recoil, barrel life, cost of shooting mm -hmm. with powder, the die or the brass lasting a long time. I mean, it's going to be a really tough round to beat. It fits into a regular standard AR-15, lower and upper. And you guys sell the bolt. You guys are going to have the barrels shortly. We're going to have the uppers. You got uh, magazines. You yeah, you could probably, I mean, you might be able to buy a complete gun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So, guys, to learn more, to go book. So, look, this stuff is not going to last forever. So, go buy your magazines now. Get on the order list for a barrel. Um, what lengths of barrel are you going to offer? You know, 18 and 21 uh, is what we did with the six arc. And it really fits into the category of, of the round and, and, you know, where you're your powder burn is and yeah you're going to get a little bit more velocity if you're shooting a 24 but but not that much yeah and is it worth having like that much more barrel and then add a suppressor or a muzzle brake to that and it's right, pretty long right and you know visiting with the hornady guys they're running 18s for a shooting gun um oh. an 18. can you even imagine though this trajectory like a thermal at night you, mm -hmm. you mean range estimation is no longer that big of a deal? Low recoil. Yeah. Yep. So off a tripod standing. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so uh, Tom, give everybody your website so they know where to go look for barrels. And how soon, I mean, are you guys doing pre-orders? Are, are they going to see barrels up in the next couple weeks? You're going to be able to call up tomorrow and in, or whenever this video comes out. And yeah, you're going to be able to pre-order. Uh, they're not going to be on the website because, you know, dealing with credit card stuff. Yep. But call, pre-order. Um, this is going to be cool, and this is going to be kind of a, this game-changing, fun round that, um, yeah. I'll be honest, Six Arc is our leading cartridge right now, which is hard to believe. But um, we sell so much of the Six Arc because it just works. And I'm, enjoy I'm it. betting this is going to take over. But it is for me. This works for me for what I do way more. Um, yeah, I won't ever get rid of my six arcs. Um, Fair enough. Because you have a little bit of horsepower to, to shoot a deer with. Sure. You know, that, that sort of thing. But um, Varmints, this, though, whew, this is going to smoke them. Yeah. Odinworks.com, O-D-I-N-W-O-R-K-S. And do you know your phone number by chance? 208-906-1405. Okay, so if you want to pre-order a barrel, call them after you see this video and get one pre-ordered. So and pre-order get gets you in front of the line. Okay. So there you um, go. Yeah, pre-order, get an, uh, a complete upper on order, and we can do it. You know, like here we have the Hornady Red, um, and we can do, you know, we have a, a lot of different colors. So Yeah, this is actually an Odinworks AR. This whole thing, the upper, lower, handguard, suppressor, uh, the Arca rail, the stocks, Odinworks. We pretty much make everything on that you're looking at. Okay, so gas block, handguard. Arca rail, upper, lower, stock. Mm -hmm. I mean, the grips, you know, obviously not, but everything else, even the suppressor. Yep. Okay, so everything in here, the bolt even, uh, is own works. Guys, I've shot these barrels for years and can tell you that they shoot phenomenally um, and they stand behind them if you were to have an issue. Um, we absolutely, we do. Yep. So anyway, go call the number, go check out odinworks.com. Um, you can always go to Guns America for more information on the new Hornady 22 Arc. Appreciate you being on here with us, Tom, and um, guys, we'll see you next time here at Guns America.